everyone and anybody. If you want to redeem time, if you want to work on the time that you have lost the past years, the past months, the past weeks, you need to tell yourself one thing. And this is... My name is Peter Sheikh Skyra Fever, the Smart MC. The Slim Giant, Nangula Bashimpundu, the father of twins. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to subscribe, hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Washimpundu has posted a new video just like that. Well, as you can see on the photos, I'm talking Alice Musukwa. Alice Musukwa, a vlogger, a model, a renowned model that has won um, a lot of uh, crowns. If you don't know her, that's the person on the photos. So I'm just going to be showing you some photos as I'm talking in the background of what is going on. Alice um, lives in her own world. And at the moment, she's not even bothered about what... Um, of uh, Chela Tukuta is uh, talking about how Chela Tukuta is trying to expose her mm, as you can see on those photos that are on the um, on the video showing on the screen you can see that uh, she's a model Zambian model she's traveled a lot of countries she lives large uh, driving a very nice car a jeep um, uh, and of course uh, travels in different countries and um, when she posts those uh, photos of how she's living, what she drives, what she's doing, there is Chela Tukuta there that is watching and saying, okay, I know the life that Alice lives. On the other hand, he's not just seeing. He confesses in his videos. He says he had, uh, uh, and, and Alice met and talked and Alice said things on her mouth how uh, she earns her money, how she's connected to certain people in the government and how she travels in those nations and making money to live the way she lives. But then she is not bothered about that and she doesn't care despite telling Chela and Chela is out there on social media talking about Alice uh, exposing her she dates the permanent secretary mr simpanje she's um she makes money from tinder she's on tinder doing all sorts of things just for her to have a life that she is having right now but then she is not bothered she is not bothered she was on uh on on her page as well doing a live video um, I'm going to be showing you that video in a moment. I'll be showing you the video. So just stick around so that you can see that video. She was on live video and she talks about, she talked about a lot of things. Um, she, she, she doesn't even care. She doesn't even care and bothered at all. But then the people are reacting to what she was saying. Um, they are thinking it's because she is stressed, stressed uh, because of what Chela is doing or saying about her. Instead, she should just keep quiet than answering back. They are saying, you don't back, you don't throw stones at every dog that is barking at you. If a dog is barking at you, let it be. Don't throw stones. Don't throw stones. But then she doesn't care about that and she doesn't care about what Chela is saying about her. All she cares is about herself and all she cares is about her happiness. She says, Whatever she lives, that's her choice. Whatever she does, that's her choice. She doesn't want negative energy. She wants positive energy. And that's what she cares about. And of course, she's an entrepreneur um, that, that, that helps um, a different people um, in the society. She puts up uh, 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 games. People win money and all. And they like her for that. And they also call um, her and small and small small 
So she's she's cold and small, small because of her slim body, you know, and people get to follow her like that. But then Zambian celebrities should learn something about their fans. You find that today you go live, Alice, the same people that are on live um, telling you you're beautiful, you do this and this, you are okay, and all the other ones that are on Chela's page and saying all sort of things, expose her, do this and that. The best thing that you can do, of course, do your thing. Love yourself, love what you do, and continue doing what you do. Like you don't care. So people get to see this video where Alice is saying something about herself. Check out the video. And you to continue what you love, what you believe in, what you're passionate about, and every little thing that you need. You just have to pay attention to it, go for it, do it over and over and over again. Now, I know much remember because it's filmed up, and I found out soon what if you're on Fika Sana, Fidia, or Fondi of Fumain. But I need you guys to listen to this. Do you understand that time is the only common denominator that we all have like it's the only thing that we all all of us have in common do you understand that the rich and the poor have 24 hours and the rich and the poor have their own reasons or rather they choose to use their 24 hours the, the way they choose to have their 24 hours you know the only thing that we all have in common the only, only thing that all of us have in life that is common is time. So how you choose to use your time is all up to you. And when you wake up tomorrow, you don't have to blame other people how they use their time, how they, they spend their time and what they got out of their time. You know, I know a lot of people would wake up and say, oh, my God, but see, that person wakes up at zero two in the morning. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that person wakes up zero two in the morning. But do you actually know what they do during the day? You know, do you actually understand that certain people while you're sleeping, they're doing whatever they feel like doing? My main concern today is, guys, do you understand that our year is gone? We haven't done anything. Our year is gone. We have not achieved much. Um, we've stayed indoors. You know, we, we have not, like we had plans. At the beginning of this year, we had plans. You know, and the plans that we had have been moved or rather scratched or rather be taken away from us because of circumstances. So beginning of this year, I told myself by March, I should at least have my house on the window level, but I haven't done anything. You know, I have not done anything. I haven't worked. I haven't done no single thing. And I'm here and I'm looking, on, I'm looking at myself. You know, my year has been taken away. Um, in few days, it's going to be June, six months to New Year. You get my point? Like, all the damn plans that you had is all taken away. Now, I want to say this to you. I was writing, guys. So I've got a lot. I was writing, and I want to try and go a bit by bit in everything that I have done, like I have written down. I want to ask you, or rather tell you this. What you become in life determines on how you choose to use your time. Like every little thing that you are today is how you chose to use your time the previous years, even today. Whatever you decide to do, or whatever you will be tomorrow, it's about you. It's about how you decide, you know, to use your time. It's about how you decide to give people your time. 
It's about how you decide to wake up. Kachinga ni 10 hours, kachinga ni 12 hours. It's whatever time you put in today will determine who you will be tomorrow. And that's how it is. And let me tell you something. Nobody owes you anything. You owe it to yourself. Like if I'm going to sit here and spend my time on things that won't grow me as a person, understand one thing. Nobody owes me anything. I owe myself that because you know what I did? I spent time getting in or feeding my soul or feeding my time with things that were unnecessary, things that did not do anything to my time and to my years. That's how it is. So from today, when you, when, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, okay, fine. I have lived my life. I am happy. I've had this. I've had that. But you know what? The time that I have wasted or the time that I have lived, what is it that I have achieved? Some people will use you for your own time, on your own time. That will come into your life and that will use your time. So you need to be very careful who you give your time to. You need to be very careful what you feed yourself into. Because at the end of the day, your time is the most precious thing ever. And that's the reason why time is money. Unfortunately, you cannot replace time. The only thing you can do is redeem time. And how do you redeem time? Sit down and ask yourself, in the past five years, what is it that I've achieved? In the past three years, what is it that I've achieved? What is it that I need to achieve in two years, in three years? If you're going to sit down and worry about the things you did yesterday, if you're going to sit down and worry about things that do not feed you of anything good, if you're going to sit down and worry about whatever it is that you want to worry about, I want you to understand one thing. You owe yourself good time. You owe yourself life. You owe yourself a lot. And as you grow I need you to, oh, this is a great part. Wait, let me, let me read. I, I, I wrote it somewhere. If you want to redeem time, stop trying to please everyone and anybody. If you want to redeem time, if you want to work on the time that you have lost the past years, the past months, the past weeks, you need to tell yourself one thing. And this is something you need to tell yourself. You can't please anybody. You will never please nobody but yourself. That's one thing I need you to understand. You cannot redeem the times that you've lost, things that you've lost, everything that you've lost by trying to please people. I want to tabata sha. Ofo ya ba, I want to tabata sha. So go out there and start pleasing yourself. Start doing you. Worry less about certain things. If you want to redeem your time, stop trying to please everybody. Understand that the people you're trying to please, half of them don't even like you. Half of them do not even like you. So do you. Just keep on doing you. If you want to sit down here and you want to please people, that will wake up tomorrow and count every little thing they didn't like about you, how you spoke to them two years ago, one year ago, six months ago, two months ago. Honey, you are wasting your own time. You're not, you are wasting your own damn time. Redeem the years that you've lost. Yes, we all have been through stuff. We all have 
done a lot of things. We all have made mistakes and all that. But guess what? That does not define who you are. That defines a person that you will be tomorrow. Your time will define who you will be tomorrow. Stop wasting your time on things that will not bring peace to you. That's how it is. I have an, I've written 11 points. Invest in your passion. Invest in the things that you love. Invest your time in things that will make you a better person. Invest your time in things that will take you far. Make your decisions based on the things that you love. Things that will take you far. Don't waste your time. Do not waste your time trying to figure out with other people. That's how it is. And as you live your life, you will understand that certain people will not like you. Certain people will not like what you do. Certain things, certain people will not like how you walk. Certain people will not like how you live. Certain people will not like your smile. Some people won't like your structure. Some will think you're too tall. Some will think you're too short. Some will think you're too fat and you're too skinny. And there's nothing you can do about that. These are just people. So stop wasting your time on things that do not put anything on your table. Things that will not take you to the next level. Your time is the most important part in your life. I want to tell you something. And I want you to just, I don't know if you're going to comment. I don't know if you're just going to ask yourself. I want you guys to think about this. The six months that we have lived this year, 2020, the people that you have met, what have they brought to your table? What have you benefited from them? Is it a contract? Is it wisdom? Is it change? What is it that they've put on the table for you? The six months, the six months that we've lived in 2020, the people that you have met, what is it that they've brought to the table for you? And this is what I want to tell you. If you've met 10 people this year and you haven't learned anything, you have not benefited anything, they've been wasting your time and you don't need them. Or for your life. life. Sometimes you have to be selfish. Sometimes you have to think about yourself and nobody else. If nobody brings anything to the table, if nobody helps you achieve what you want, if nobody pushes you to where you want to go, honey, let them be. Let them stay. Walk out. And don't be sorry for leaving them because it is your time. Some people will be so uncomfortable having you around. Your presence will be so uncomfortable to certain people. But guess what? In five days, it's six months. In five days, today in Iramu June, six months, what is it that you have achieved? Your time is the most precious thing ever. Your time is actually more, more than the money that you can ever earn. You know, one thing I have told myself is that, Alice, you don't need anybody to tell you you're good. Baby girl, you're good. One thing I've told myself is, baby girl, you don't need anybody to tell you you are doing the right thing because you are doing the right thing. As long as you feel you're doing the right thing, honey, keep doing it. As long as you feel, Alice, what you're doing is a direction to what you want to achieve, keep doing it. Keep doing it. That's how it is. Hold on, guys. Just hold on, sorry. 
That's how life is. You know? Mwariko mfaka la karimbo. Fueba kule mitwe yo yo yo. That's the song. Hold on. Another point I want to tell you is identify what is important in your life. Identify what's going to take you far. Identify what gives you peace. Identify what makes you gorgeous. And when you are done doing that, identify the time you want to spend in growing each part of what you've identified. And when you are done doing that, tell yourself, I'm going to spend my time on the things that I have identified because these things make me grow. Because these things make me powerful. Because these things see my direction to my achievement. So that when certain people walk into your life to distract you, you will know how to handle the situation. You will know how to handle your time. You need to tell yourself, I need time for myself. I need time for my job. I need time for my child. And I need time to understand what is it that I want. Like any me if we fue bana ba nshiwa. Tu akulile kuchulu. When other people are encouraging their children, you understand? So let me just say, most orphans were brought up by the streets. You get my point? So if you are brought up by the streets, you have mixture of encouragements, mixture of lessons, teachings, and all that. And you have to pick on what you want to take in. And just because these people say you are this does not stop you from being you. Just because these people say you are so-so, it does not stop you from living the life that you want to live. People will walk into your life and waste your time. You need to own your time. You need to you need to tell yourself, Wushe, Abanga na baleka bangira munshita yandi na lasta mo benefit inish. Fish of na lasta mo benefit. Fish of na lasta senda mo muri fifi abupuba muri fifi suma muri fifi amungulu. Wushe fishi of na lasta benefit. If you will not benefit anything, you have no reason to being there. And I want to tell you this. If you want from today, think about this. There are people that were just destined because of how they think, because of how they I think in a reason because of how they do certain things and all that. And those are the people that you can't, you can't be found with. Those are not the people that you, you want to try and convince to be a certain person or certain people. Okay. I've seen a very interesting comment here. <laughs> And I just want to laugh. Look at me. I'm beautiful. And I don't care. I'm living my life. And I'm not spending my time on anything that will distract me from what I believe in, what I love, and what I want to achieve. Sometimes, if 
when you spend too much time understanding who you are, you actually understand that you are stronger than how you felt. You are stronger than what people thought. You are stronger than whatever it is that might come your way. Pick up your pieces. Tell yourself, my time is precious. Tell yourself, my time is important. Some of you are not suffering because you want to suffer. Some of you are not suffering because God does not listen to your prayers. Some of you are not suffering because you don't have a good job. You are suffering because you waste a lot of your time on bullshit. You waste a lot of your time on things that don't even bring food on your table. You waste a lot of time on things that won't even benefit you in any way. You waste a lot of bloody time on things that leave you broke at the end of the day. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. Rich people don't wake up at 9 a.m. Rich people don't go to work at 7, knock off at 5 and sleep. Rich people put in a lot of time. They sacrifice a lot of things. They sacrifice their time. They sacrifice their happiness. They sacrifice their fun times. They sacrifice a lot of things so they can be where they are. Rich people wake up at 04 every morning. They are rich, but they still wake up 04 in the morning and go to bed midnight. And they are okay. You complain about a lot of things. You complain about how God has been unfair. That is a mindset of a weak person. Because So you can't kneel down and, and tell God, God, you've been unfair to me. God hasn't been unfair to you. You have been unfair to yourself because you spend a lot of time on bullshit. You spend a lot of time. Doing things that won't even bring anything to you. You disagree to things that make sense because your mind is weak. You argue with things that you know. This is true. You want to argue with it because your mind is weak. Your mind is based on being fed with, with things that don't even empower you in any way. That's how it is. Sometimes instead of you kneeling down and asking God, God, why are you unfair? How about you, you kneel down and you ask God, God, give me the wisdom. I think I am taking a wrong direction. I think what I'm doing is wrong. I don't know the button I'm pressing, but I think the button I'm pressing is wrong. God, help me. And let's see if God won't help you. Instead of you wasting your time trying to hate on people that are doing better than you, how about you ask for advice? Because even when you hurt on them, it's not a guarantee that they'll do, they'll do below you. They'll still be them. That's how it is. How about that time you are wasting trying to do things to make people feel a certain way? How about you, you have that attitude to just make, you know, like I have said, and I'll say this again, time is the most precious thing ever. You know, I was, when we were shooting today, the guys were talking and I was listening and I picked on one thing. I said to myself, yeah, actually, you know, this is very nice. Time is the most precious thing. 
time. You know what? No, there's one one point. I don't want to. This is interesting. I don't want to. I don't want to leave this. Invest in your passion alone, because so many people will distract you, and not every invitation, not every invitation is a blessing. You understand? Like when you invest, when you invest your time in your career, you invest your time in the things you love. If you're a soccer player, if you invest your time in, you know, like being a soccer player, trying to learn more skills, if you're going to, if you are a dancer, you just, you know, you concentrate on you being a dancer, you know, if you're a musician, you pay attention to being a musician and all that. You like you put in your time, you put in your efforts, you put in everything because not every invitation is a blessing. You know, not everybody that will tell you, oh, no, I want you to come to I want you to come to my show and perform, it's a blessing. Some people want to tap into your blessing. Some people want to tap into your time. So if you want to redeem the time that you have wasted the past years, if you want to redeem the time that you have wasted as a person, let's say beginning of this year, if you feel like I've met 18 people, you know, I've met 18 people and I have not done anything 18 people that I've met have not been have not been empowered in any way. 18 people that I've met, I, I don't feel like they've pushed me in my career. They've pushed me in what I feel like doing. You sit down and you reset your standards. You sit down and you reset your clock and you tell yourself, this is what I want to do. Go to the gym, you know, read a lot of books motivational books you know read a lot about the things that you love you stop doing certain things that you did you know drop out certain friends you know drop out certain chills you know drop out certain like sacrifice the things that you loved the most to make you a better person or to make you be a better person that you want to be you get my point so uh, the greatest enemy in your life is distraction this is the last point I had so if you want to achieve something always understand one thing the greatest Distraction, the greatest enemy to whatever you want to achieve is distraction. You know, your time is the most important thing ever. Reset your time. Tell yourself, January. Now we are almost in June, six months. What is it that I've achieved? You know, what is it that I wanted to do that I haven't, I have not achieved? And work on it. That's how it is. Because in a panoso, dating book, eh? you know, I want to hate on like Naomi Campbell in ABCD. Naomi Campbell is 50 and she's done so well. You know, she's done so, so well. So the best thing I can do is, Alice, in 30 years, what is it that you have done, you know, towards your career? And what is it that you want to achieve? And then you work on it. You know, and then I work on it. And then I tell myself, okay, I think I have not kept my body in shape. I think I have lost my hair. I think I need to learn how to do this, how to do that. So I redeem my time by doing the things that I always wanted to do. I redeem my time by sacrificing my, my play times, you know, sacrificing things that will not make me grow. So, before I go, I want to say this. Time is the most greatest tool that you have in your life. Use it wisely. 
time is the most important thing that you have on your plate. Just reset it. And that's it. And thank you so much, Mimi, for, uh, yeah, for the talk and stuff I thought I should share it with my people. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, and take care.